as I really want this channel to be a place where people feel comfortable enough to share their thoughts and feelings and experiences and how can I expect other people to do that if I'm not doing that myself. Okay. Let's give this a go today, shall we? TV. I actually wound up not filming the rest of that session um, and those that do kind of what I do on a daily whether it's YouTube, TikTok, Reels, Instagram, um, well anything like that, any kind of like filming when it comes to your sessions, sometimes if you're just doing it on your own, it's you on a tripod or just, just you on your own, right? It can really, really interrupt and make your session um, quite difficult, like having to film and, and train at the same time. It is genuinely, obviously I don't really know anything different. My entire training journey has been on camera, but at times it is really just difficult. Like if, let's say it's it's kind of busy on the machine that you, or in the area that you want to, to use, right? I don't want to get too many people in the back. I don't want to piss off the wrong person. Sometimes just training and filming just it just can't be done unless there's someone else. And I was on my own on that day, so well, yesterday. It's the next day, I've had a trim as well. Hi, what's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to LCA TV. I, I, just, I just said that, right? I'm having some oats because I'm actually going back to the gym right now. Uh, it's lunchtime, I've not eaten yet, so I'm breaking my fast. Something I'm doing is basically, um, it's kind of like an intermittent fasting, but except I'm actually doing it on purpose, right? I'm actually not having breakfast, but then I'm having my meals kind of closer together. Um, or larger meals, one or the other. Um, a little bit later on in the day, it's just what I'm enjoying right now. I've lost a few pounds doing it. I'm just gonna keep doing it until I get bored of it and then maybe go back to normal again. I'd do fasting cardio in the morning. Well, I would if, if my foot wasn't f but hey ho. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the a micro while And we are gonna, of course, top it with some salted caramel, the best protein on the market. You can use code LSJ at checkout on anything my protein, whether it's this t-shirt, whether it's these shorts that I'm wearing, whether it's this protein, they don't sell oats. But can you see me, the bike's in the way. Anyone would think I know what I'm doing with a camera or something, but how's, how's, how's that? Is that okay? I don't really know what I'm doing with myself today, to tell you the truth. I've got a hell of a lot going on, right? There's this whole NFM UK bodybuilding show thing. Um, I've also sorted out a bunch of content over the next six months with Bedalia. You guys have seen him on the channel a few times. He is the Dr. DJ, and that will ring a few names, right? ring, ring a few bells for a lot of people. Um, we're gonna be doing some content over the next few months, over the next four to like six months. Uh, we're gonna be pushing out content together. Very, very excited about it. We'll have more on it to come in the very near future. For now though, it is business as usual. We're gonna to head to UFB, film what we need to film for UFB today. Train a little bit. I am really missing training legs and going on the spin bike and stuff. And before I busted my foot, it was kind of like a, it was a real, 
routine for me to wake up, go on the spin bike and just think through my day, right? The way that I kind of built this channel, and this is gonna sound weird. Let's get deep for a second. Give me, give, give me, give me a minute, right? Stick with me. I built this channel at home, right? Home, home, Melton Mowbray, where mum and dad live, where the home gym is, that is the foundation of this channel. That is where this channel, where all the momentum from this channel was built, was in that gym, right? At that home, at home with mum and dad, right? Every single day in lockdown is when, like, because that's when we really kind of started to grow. I'm, I, I'm well aware we're still a small channel and still a small page or whatever, but we gathered a lot of momentum in that time, right? And I think the reason was I was so laser focused on what it was that I wanted to achieve, what it was that I wanted to do and how I was gonna do it. I had a very good plan where at the same time I would still just wake up every day and wing it, right? I would say, right, this is my long-term goal, but I'm just gonna do this, 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 this. I would do these tiny little things every single day that everyone would just go, what's the point in that? But everyone that doesn't do that will then ask you why you're in that certain position because you did all those little things, right? You do the the tiny little thing on Instagram that people think, I just can't be bothered to do that. There's no point in doing that. No one cares about that. Well, someone out there cares about that, right? If you do that enough times over and over and over and over and over again, you're gonna build some momentum, whether it's for 100 million followers or 100 followers, right? You're gonna build somewhat of a momentum, some kind of, momentum and that would be different to every single person obviously you can't bank on being the person that just goes viral right you, you can't that happens but you can't bank on being that person so you have to put in the work do the little things every single day that others won't to get you to where you want to be right being on the spin bike is how i planned that out in my head it's how i told myself right i would be on the bike pedaling away going right i've got to answer this email i've got to answer this text i've got to call this person i've got to film this video and it's going to be about this Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna train, I'm gonna integrate my entire day, film it all, put it on YouTube the following day or the following or on the evening, you know? And I did all of that from the spin bike and I felt like a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago, until a couple of weeks ago, I should say, I was really getting that back in my own head, whether you guys feel it or not, like it was in my head, I could see that clear picture, that clear vision that I have not seen or heard or felt for a long time, since my concussion basically, since I had my head kicked in, that floored me. Like, it it really, really, really floored me, right? And if you go back a few videos just to watch, explain the story, I explain the story and all that kind of stuff, and you can kind of get a little bit of an explanation as to why. But until a few weeks ago when I was waking up and going on the spin bike and planning the same things in my head and doing the same things, getting that structure, routine, and that just, let's face it, endorphins that you get from doing something like cardio, until a few weeks ago, I felt like I was getting that back and I hadn't felt it in a long time. That was a good feeling. So I'm really, really missing it. I'm, miss I'm missing training legs as well because I'm gonna go in today and when I, when I go and do a bit, I'm actually gonna do some extensions and some curls because I haven't even done that, I've been too scared. But I spoke to Fiona who is the physio who referred me for the whole concussion thing. She said that that's gonna be okay regardless of if, if it hurts or it shouldn't hurt is basically what we kind of came to the conclusion of. But I really, really miss that feeling, that laser focus going towards a goal, towards an objective feeling. Something I've always prided myself on being able to do, being good at, is having that laser focused. This is how I'm gonna do it. This is when I'm gonna do it. This is where I'm gonna do it. This is what the video is gonna be called. This is what it's gonna be about. This is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna integrate this, 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 and this. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna put the music there in the video. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna love it. It's gonna be engaging. It's gonna be positive. It's gonna be great. And I'm looking forward to getting back into that routine because I know I can once my foot is better. And I know it sounds ridiculous and I know it sounds like a cop out, but that is how I feel. That's just me being open and honest and truthful about how I feel about what's going on in my life right now. It's as simple as that. It might be stupid to some people. It will be stu stupid to some people and I get that, but it's not stupid to me. It's how I feel in here. And I'm doing my best to kind of explain that 
to you guys. I really want this channel to be a place where people feel comfortable enough to share their thoughts and feelings and experiences. And how can I expect other people to do that if I'm not doing that myself? And I haven't been doing that myself for the past year since I had me a kicked in. Um, I've been hiding somewhat my feelings about it. And since I have been honest and open on the internet about it, the response has been amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough for it, but I really have missed that spin bike feeling structure. Cause I can just sit on my phone and work. I work from my phone, I work on social media. I can literally do it all from this, you know? And on that note, it's been six minutes and I have one, two, three, four, five, six notifications. Okay, it never stops, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm gonna make my oats because they're actually gonna be a bit cold now. And then, I'm gonna head to the gym. It's gonna be a good day. Told you it was gonna be a good day. Good numbers all round. Feeling actually quite positive about training, physique, business, everything. I just feel like the momentum that I feel like I lost before I started sharing all of this kind of stuff. Like, I feel like it's, it's almost the cause of gaining it back if that makes sense. Might sound crazy to some, but that is, again, I've said it a thousand times in this video, that's how I feel. Feel good. session we also oh my god it's windy what the hell we also had Bobby cleaned while we were training and she looks so much better on the outside not the inside now to go home get a bit of work done get some grub and play taxi service for Ella tonight she's out on the sesh and with that I'm gonna wrap it up here ladies and gentlemen um, I was actually gonna vlog the rest of the day the rest of the evening but I'm just gonna be sat here on, on my Todd because Ella's out on the town <laughs> and um, I'm playing taxi service a little bit later. So I'm just gonna get some work done. Um, and there's gonna be absolutely nothing to show. The video is 14, 15 minutes as, as it is. If you're still watching, you're an absolute legend. If you haven't already, please take the time to drop a like. It really, 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 really does help. Um, I'm just gonna sit and edit and 
feel a bit sorry for myself to be honest. It's mad how th this video has been a right roller coaster. You know, I I feel good about making videos like this though because it feels right, it feels honest, and it feels like what I should be doing, and it feels like what I've not been doing for so long now, and it's what I was really good at back in the day, sort of thing. Um, so it feels nice, but yeah, I'm, it's mad how within the space of a day it's been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster kind of day really. Um, I'm on a bit of a downer at the minute, so I'm just going to sit here, get my work done, focus on what I need to get done, exactly what I was saying earlier in the video, and um, enjoy my solo Saturday night. So, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed, if you have, do me a massive favour, it really helps the channel grow, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, comment anything, and comment down below TV remote if you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you all, thank you all so much, new series is coming soon, together we will grow, and I'll see you in the next one.